Dawn White with First Coast News. I'm here along Huntington Road in Huntington, Putnam County. You can see a pretty heavy police presence back there. The chief deputy with the Putnam County Sheriff's Office tells me that they did find human remains in those woods back there, which is taped off right now. They could not say if those remains are male or female. There is going to be a press conference at 4 o'clock. We are going to be there, and that will be streamed live on First Coast News. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Colonel Joseph Wells, the Chief Deputy with the Sheriff's Office here in Putnam County. We do have an update today in the case of uh, our search for our missing 20-year-old Naisha Nelson. During the investigation into the missing uh, person's case, we have located uh, human remains in a very heavily wooded area outside of the city of Crescent City. The identity of those remains are not known at this point. We're still in the long and very thorough, tedious process of recovering those remains and conducting crime scene investigation in that area. As you recall, as part of this search for Ms. Nelson, we located her vehicle in a separate rural area outside of Crescent City on Thursday. And then this morning at about 8 a.m., our investigators located these human remains. Like I said, they are unidentified. We can't even determine the sex at this time. So there is not a lot of additional information that we can give you. And we certainly don't know if they are related to the case or not for sure. Um, but we do know and can say that the remains were located by our detectives in furtherance of the investigation into the disappearance of Naisha Nelson. We are still looking for the community's help. We still want to hear from anybody that has seen Naisha Nelson since uh, February the 11th, has it had any contact with Naisha since February the 11th, or has seen her vehicle, which we provided the information on yesterday, which is that 2008 gray Honda Accord. So again, although the investigation is still unfolding, it's unfolding at a very rapid rate. We have interviewed numerous people, conducted numerous searches throughout the area during this investigation. Those interviews are going on as we speak, as we try to uncover additional information that can hopefully help us locate Ms. Nelson as soon as possible. So there may not be a whole lot of additional information I can give, but I will certainly open up to questions and I'll answer any of them that I am able to. Um, can you guys tell if the remains are adults? Cannot say that for sure at this time. Okay. We are comfortable saying that uh, they are human remains. Um, but cannot confirm anything further than that at this time. We are still in the process of recovering those remains from a very heavily wooded area. So you said you're unsure if it's still connected to her disappearance, but as far as the remains, can you kind of maybe tell me, are you guys pretty sure that it could be? So, like I said, the remains were discovered as part of the investigation into the disappearance of Naisha Nelson, but we are just unable to say for sure if they are her or the sex of the remains, or if it is directly connected to the investigation. Are you allowed to say like what you found, like a finger or an arm? Or are you allowed to say like anything that you found? So we're not gonna comment a lot specifically on this. Obviously, like I said in the previous uh, press conference after the discovery of her car, at that time, uh, the vehicle was our most critical piece of evidence. And a lot of the investigation was hindering what we could determine from that vehicle and where it was located. And so now that same set of circumstances exist with this. If this is in fact directly related to the disappearance of Ms. Nelson, um, what is going on at this crime scene now is absolutely critical. So uh, if any further comment on that crime scene wouldn't be uh, prudent at this time. How many identities were found throughout there? All right, back to the vehicle. What about the vehicle? How many identities the vehicle was found? The vehicle, no problem. The vehicle was found in a wooded area. Uh, just south of the city of Crescent City, near the area of Old Highway 17 and Junction Road. Okay, I'm sorry. Do you believe um, the remains were out there, and how do you go forward with forensics now to determine who that person is? 
Uh, those are great questions. So as far as how long do we believe the remains have been there, it would be premature for us to answer that at this point because we haven't even completed the recovery process. This is a very tedious process that covers everything from uh, 3D scans of the scene to the use of metal detectors to look for any evidence that may be out there um, to very slowly recovering those remains so that we preserve them for autopsy and that we uh, also find any evidence that is there with them. Uh, we will not be able to give positive identity on the remains until after the autopsy is completed, and uh, we hope that that should be uh, very early next week. So are you still looking for her? That is correct. We are still searching for Naisha Nelson um, as if these are not her remains because we just don't know that. So that uh, search is ongoing. Uh, that's why we are still asking anybody that may have any information about contact with her or her vehicle to reach out to us because we cannot reach the conclusion and we are not operating off the fact that the search should end because we've located Naisha. That's certainly not the case here. So the search is still very active and ongoing and we're looking for any information anybody can provide us. It is my understanding that uh, she, uh, well I know that she grew up here in Crescent City. As a matter of fact, uh, Naisha attended the school behind us, Middleton Burney Elementary, the same place that her five-year-old daughter goes to school now. So she is well known in the Crescent City area, has lots of extended family, a lot of friends, and has deep roots here in Crescent City. How close was the body that you discovered to the vehicle that you guys found? Uh, the, the remains that we have discovered were, uh, I'm going to give you an estimation of probably four to five miles from where the vehicle was located. It would be uh, probably northwest. Uh, the, the active investigation that we're conducting right now is probably two miles uh, west of where we're located here on County Road 308, which is the highway right behind us. The vehicle was found on Thursday. The vehicle was found Thursday evening, correct? Okay, but this was February 11th, correct? February 11th was the last time that we uh, know for sure that she was safe, and that is when she dropped her child off to school here on the morning of February the 11th. Any suspects have been identified we, yet? Not at this time. Uh, we, like I said, we are covering every possible angle. We're interviewing people as they come, um, come to a, our attention. We are receiving lots of tips and information from the community and working very hard to rapidly follow up on every one of those as soon as they come in. So we have, obviously that's part of our investigation. We are looking not only places that we knew or believe she was at, but any other possible locations. Uh, so lots of surveillance footage has been uh, recovered and our detectives are in the process of evaluating that at this time. Um, so that's the possibility that could exist. Certainly surveillance footage is key to any investigation like this. And what led police and detectives to the wooded area where those remains were found? Again, that's information we're not gonna speak about at this time. It was during our investigation um, that we went to that area. My last question. Yeah, I've got one more from our senior mass unit. Um, did a canine uh, hit on the remains or was it um, somebody else? There, there have been no canines involved in the uh, crime scene where the remains are at. Again, the, uh, the scene is, is west of here a few miles. Um, there is uh, opportunity if anybody needs any footage from the scene, I will ask you and, and let you know that uh, we have a considerable amount of family and friends there and we're uh, respecting their privacy and uh, we informed the family and friends of this conference and invited any of them here that wanted to speak to come. So uh, we would just ask that you respect their privacy. We have uh, uh, victim support services and uh, a handful of pastors in the area working with the family um, in the event. Um, we have any other information to give them. So if you do want to go to that area, certainly that opportunity exists for you. Chief Deputy Wells, yep. question. How did you discover these remains that were found? Again, all we're going to say about that is that uh, we were conducting our investigation and that investigation led us to this area and our detectives discovered those remains in that area. Okay. And again, no suspects at this time? We have identified no suspects at this time. Again, we're looking at all angles, but we're still operating that Ms. Nelson is a missing persons case. Like as we're, we're interviewing everybody that knew her, everybody that had any contact with her, everybody that has any information, but there are no suspects at this time. And of course, this Ms. Nelson is not classified as a homicide at this time.
12-year-old Naisha Nelson have not heard from her in more than a week. And so tonight, officials are asking for the public's help. On your side, Brianna Ray Turner learned more about the investigation at a press conference in Crescent City the, tonight. And she is live now with the latest. And Brianna, what, what an emotional plea from the family. Right, yeah, the Putnam County Sheriff's Department says they're doing an around-the-clock investigation. Now, Naisha Nelson, this was the last time they saw her actually physically at Middleton Burney Elementary School. This is where they saw her dropping off her daughter, and now the family just wants answers. A 20-year-old single mother, Naisha Nelson, from Putnam County still hasn't been found. Her mother, Chastity Nelson, says she hasn't heard from her daughter in more than a week. And she says this isn't like Naisha. My baby won't leave her house like it was left. She wouldn't go without talking to her baby for 24 hours. So for her to be missing for a whole week without talking to her baby, that's not normal. God sister Thelma Banks says the last time the family saw her was at their grandmother's house. She dropped her daughter off at the elementary school and she went to her her grandma house and when she went to her grandma house she sat out in front of the yard a while and then after a while she was like said she had to go somewhere and she left they never seen her after that spokesperson for the Putnam County Sheriff's Department says someone found her car in the woods on a back road in Crescent City just a few miles from her house after the car was found canine searched the area we have that car with us we are processing that vehicle and looking for any forms of evidence or any clues uh, that could lead us to locating Naisha Chief Deputy Wells says that this car, this vehicle, is the biggest piece of evidence they have. And now they're asking for the public's help. I'm live in Putnam County, Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News. On